Dog Nation's Next Generation Series is brought to you by Pella Window and Door of Georgia. Pella, any style, any home, any budget. Visit PellaofGA.com to get started. Welcome back, Dog Nation. I'm Kaylee Mansell with Jeff Sintel, and I can't believe it. It's week eight already of bringing you all the 411 on the next generation of talent headed to Athens. Today, we have the number two tight end in the country, Pierce Sperlin, an All-American Bowl pick out of not just Georgia, but also Florida. He is a generational legacy in, in Athens. And Jeff, one thing I think that's hilarious about this guy is he's been committed to Georgia since before Setson Bennett even made his very first start. How uncommon is that now? It, I don't know if it'll ever happen again. I mean, I, I look at recruiting as like dog years. So like <laughs> when a kid's been committed for a full year, it's really like seven years considering the attention. And especially when you're a top five prospect at your position like Pierce. But let me see. I think I think the, the everywhere on his family tree is Georgia degrees. That's mm -hmm. grandmas. That's mom's side of the family, dad's side of the family. I think it's sisters. I think I think someone told me a story, and I don't think they were kidding, that the Sperling family used to have property or own property years ago on North Campus. So, oh, like, wow. I would be surprised if somebody was walking around Athens one day and they told me that there's a Sperling Hall because the guy's been committed since Stet but since before Stetson Bennett started his first game in Athens, and that's about as as special. Uh, when you talk about a legacy, is maybe one of your favorite ice caramel lattes at your favorite <laughs> favorite coffee shop, but. Pierce Sperling III, I called him PS3 for a lot when I would talk to him. Um, been committed, stayed committed. He's a Terrence Edwards protege. He came up out of the Walton High School system and then moved down to the Santa Rosa Beach area in a beautiful, lovely 30A. We can all get behind somebody that wants to move right there. But, you know, Pierce is a guy, I kind of kidded him. I was like, man, uh, so so you committed. And then they, brought the, they put the arches up in Athens. And that's kind of the feeling <laughs> here because – this guy was integral in putting the class together. He was a guy that was always talking to everybody, trying to weave the class together. And, and you know, really special football player that chose to be a dog and probably knew he was going to be a dog when they put that Georgia G bonnet on his head in the in the newborn delivery room in the hospital. One thing I like that you said is a uh, PS3. Somebody should make that their gamer tag. I mean, that, that that's an incredible nickname to have. And, you know, Pierce is coming into an already very strong tight end room. So what kind of role do you see him playing this fall? So Pierce is a guy that you want to talk about the new age flex in. Well, that's Pierce where could be a wide receiver, could be a, a, a tight end. Now he hadn't played any tight end ever. Um, prior to showing up at the All-American Bowl in mm -hmm. Texas. So learn how to block. That's going to be new for him. But he was that basketball player that, you know, would throw down dunks, big catch radius. I mean, he made some plays on five-star Caleb Downs, now signed in that Alabama, mm -hmm. uh, the number one safety in the country uh, out in Texas. And you know, Pierce is a guy that you, you hear about him coming up. He was the guy that would always score a bunch of touchdowns, have a lot of Terrell Owens-like flavor to his game, just a big body always making plays, really animated. And he's he's suffered through a little bit of bad luck now. His senior year, going into his senior year spring practice, he hurt his shoulder, he needed surgery, and he really had to kind of park it uh, while, his, while his shoulder healed. He got to play maybe two games of his senior year, and then he gets to Georgia, and I think we've, you know, the news is coming out. It's old news now, but like at the time of our taping, uh, he had suffered a, in the first Saturday scrimmage, Saturday full pass practice, he yeah. suffered a broken collarbone. Going to be out for maybe most of spring practice, but you look at Pierce and what he could eventually bring to Georgia. I mean, this is a young man that I know will do everything he has to make Georgia great, and whatever that he's asked for him to do, he's going to do it. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a guy that has been committed to UGA since September of 2020. He's had a lot of time to think and prepare for his time in Athens. So, you know, how has he changed his body to be ready for this moment. That was a big thing. Some some might say, a fellow like me might even say that the injury his senior year, which cost him most of his senior year, well, he turned it into a positive. What he did is he started working out. He started changing his body because 6'6 six, six and 215 wasn't really going to fly trying to have to block guys like Mikel Williams in Athens, Damon Wilson, uh, Samuel Mpemba, Chaz Chambliss. So what he did his senior year is he hit the weights, put on about 20, 25 pounds, when he got to the All-American Bowl, he said he's never been faster, never been stronger. It's about 6'6", six, six, about 240, 235, and that was good weight that he's going to need. He's going to need to play around that weight. Uh, he'll need to shape his body up a little bit, but that's going to be a good fit for him when he puts on that extra suit of armor 
uh, to go kind of play a little bit in between the trenches in Athens. Mm -hmm. Now, some people want to say that UGA isn't tied in you, even with Brock Bowers and, and Darnell Washington. But hey, between Pierce Sperlin and, and Lawson Lucky, what do you guys have to say to counter that? I don't, I don't think you have anything. But one thing that we do know is we have more coming up for you next week on the next generation of talent headed to Athens. We'll see you then.